life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello guys, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm talking to Ryan Carnes about his latest romantic comedy and his life-changing moment. Take a look. Hi Ryan, how are you? I'm great, thanks. So we have to talk about your latest romantic comedy. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, well, the story centers around um, a girl named Valentina who is engaged to an American, she's Mexican, and she's engaged to an American guy named Jason Tate, played by me. And um, as we, you know, we we get engaged, and, and I'm not giving anything away, I think, because that's in the trailer. Yeah. Um, then things start to get a little more challenging. Some some family issues come up on her end, and I, I suspect something, something more is going on than she's telling me, so I, I set out to find out what that is. And when I do that, uh, things get even more complicated. Um, I end up getting to get exposed to a whole new culture, um, a whole new way of doing things, and um, a lot of challenges along the way in Mexico. See, that's what I was going to ask you about. How is it like working with Lionsgate and bringing these two cultures, you know, together? It's great. I mean, we, we were, that's one of the things that, you know, when I first got involved with the project, I was really happy to find out that Lionsgate was going to distribute for us here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. through, through Penteleon, mm -hmm. their, uh, their Latino arm. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I think, I think it's, now more than ever, it's a great time to release a movie mm -hmm. that, that is cross-cultural. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that not just cross-cultural, but cross-cultural between the U.S. and Mexico. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we, get, we, get to, we get to tackle um, a multicultural relationship. And, uh, you know, just because this movie goes a particular way, it doesn't mean... It's, you know, it's not really a commentary one way or the other about multicultural relationships, but I think I think it's good to, to explore that, and I'm, and I'm grateful that we got to do it in a comedic way, mm -hmm. in a lighthearted way. I don't want to give anything away, but I love the intro of the movie. Super adorable. <laughs> but I want to know, what's the most um, romantic thing that you've ever done for somebody? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um... Is it cheesy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't think it's cheesy. Um, I'm just now feeling extremely exposed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the most romantic thing I've ever done is. There's one thing that's coming to my mind. Um, you'll have to decide if it's, it's if romantic. it's romantic or if it's creepy. Okay. Um, so I don't know. You might have to edit this out. <laughs> I thought it was romantic. I think it's okay. all about the intention. At the time, I yeah. thought it was romantic. So, so years ago, I was dating this girl who had a big event coming up in her life, mm -hmm. and she was really excited about it. it was a, you know, it was a, it was a really important moment. Yeah. And I like surprises. I like being surprised, and I like surprising people. Uh, like I, 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 to me, it's just really fun. Yeah. And so I always like to surprise somebody that I'm dating when I can. And so. Um, I was attempting to take flowers to her apartment building, uh -huh. and I wanted to drop them off, and you know, drop them off at her door. And so when she came home, have her be surprised and see that there were some flowers from me. Yeah. So I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to get into the apartment building. Uh -huh. So I just waited outside the apartment building until somebody drove in the garage and the electric door went up. So I, I snuck in the I snuck in the garage and then uh -huh. I forget what I had to do to then get from the garage to her apartment. Uh -huh. But whatever I had to do, I did it. And I dropped off flowers and left them at her doorstep. Uh -huh. And um, we didn't date too much longer after that. So. I, I thought it was romantic. Yeah. I don't know if she did. You know, there might have. You know, who knows? There might have been. Might have been other reasons. But what do you think? I thought. I think that's romantic. Okay, good. I mean, I'm, it's because I date guys that don't make an effort. So you seem extreme, extremely extremely romantic. Then I'm vin I'm vindicated. You just then. set the bar high. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a break into my place. <laughs> be careful. Oh, you, be careful. What you ask me. guys. Did you? No. 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 no I'm just kidding. That. All right, let's change things a little bit. So you kind of had a life-changing moment where you had like a near-death experience. So can you tell me a little bit about uh, that and like how did it change your life? Yeah, um, 
So, yeah, there was a moment about a, about a decade ago where um, it was a pretty significant life event. And um, on the other side of that, my life definitely changed in a big way. I, um, I, started, I started looking at so looking at my life certainly differently. Um, at the time, I wasn't taking very good care of myself physically uh, and emotionally. Um, and, and after that, I realized like there was there was there was a moment for me where I realized okay, there was a fork in the road. I, I'm either going to go this way or I'm either going to go this way, and and I'm going to have to make that choice. And to me, <laughs> fortunately, the choice was pretty clear. Mm -hmm. And and I started I started looking into to you know alternative um, forms of medicine and healing and um, I started even discovering what meditation was mm -hmm. and and I really just started looking at, at life in a whole new way because I knew that I couldn't keep living my life the way that I'd been living it it wasn't it wasn't healthy um, you know I didn't I had a lot of reasons to be happy and grateful and I, I wasn't very happy mm -hmm. I was pretty miserable and and I realized that a lot of that was self-created and so I kind of set up on this journey to, to learn a lot more about myself mm -hmm. and to take better care of myself and uh, it's led me um, it's led me down a, a pretty interesting path and journey and, and, I'm, and I'm really grateful for it because mm -hmm. I think it's it's I not I think I know it's improved my life immeasurably mm -hmm. and um, you know, I've, I've met people and, and had experiences along the way that, that I wouldn't trade for anything and, and that I wouldn't have had had I not had that experience and had I not literally had like a neon sign flashing going, do it differently, do it differently. I think, I think life, I, I don't, I don't get too caught up in, in dogmas or, or, you know, thinking that people should live their lives in a particular way. I think it's kind of like, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Don't hurt yourself and don't hurt others. And beyond that, do what works for you. I love that you give back. And I mean, you've done so many amazing things, but what do you want your fans to remember you for the most? Uh, wow, that's a good question. You know, I, 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 think, I think as an actor, as, as somebody who is into the arts and storytelling, um, certainly, I, I hope, because I, I think probably every actor um, wants wants to feel like their work is having some impact mm -hmm. in the world in some way, even if it's just one person. Uh, so, you know, I I think I would like to know that that my work is is uh, hopefully affecting people, and and again, and even in even even in a small way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, one of the things. <clears throat> I've done other jobs where people have come up to me on the street and gone, thank you so much for doing that. You, you helped me in this, this moment in my life, your character, what your character was going through was so similar to what I was going through and you helped me through that. And it's like, well, man, I'm glad I could be at the right place at the right time to do that. I, I was just only a small part of that, but you know, that's really gratifying. Uh -huh. That's, that's really fulfilling. And, and those moments always mean a lot to me. So certainly that, but then beyond that, beyond work, beyond this, this, you know, this entertainment thing, um, I think just hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, I can live, um, live a thoughtful yeah. life and, and, um, be, you know, I yeah. try to be, be a better human every day when I wake up yeah. and I think that's important. I think that's what we all want. Thank you so much for your time, Ray. Yeah, you're welcome. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.